Well, hello, beautiful souls. It's your girl, Jane, coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be all about yummy, delicious gourmand fragrances for Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day. So if you want to smell yummy, and I mean yummy, okay? I have something for everyone, every price point, all that is here for you. So if you guys are interested in seeing what my picks are, then go ahead and just keep on watching. So if you are new to my channel, hello again. My name is Jeanne, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so, so much for clicking back on to another video. I truly, truly appreciate you guys' support. So if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and join the family and give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see my videos from moi. Now let's get into it. Lip of the day is very simple. I'm wearing two liquid lipsticks. I'm wearing Feelings from Lime Crime and I'm wearing Kylie Cosmetics Mary Jo K. They're kind of similar but I use Feelings on the outside because it's slightly darker and then Mary Jo K on the inside. So that's the lip combo of the day. And then my scent of the day is this first combo actually. Go ahead and leave me your scent of the day or night whenever you're watching this video down below because I would absolutely love to know what you're wearing. I love going back and forth and seeing what's new and cool out there, okay? So my fragrance of the day is from Clean Reserve and I have a sparkling sugar layered with musk noir. These two on their own are absolutely beautiful, but together, it's a masterpiece. Y'all already know how much I love sparkling sugar. This is just your sweet, fruity, floral fragrance. It's sugary, it's slightly gourmand in my opinion, but it's sweet, it's flirty, and it's fun. But Musk Noir, this one is more of your musky, ambery, vanillic fragrance. It has a little bit of like a powdery touch from some violet, but not too much. It's very sexy in my opinion, and these two together are gorgeous. Now, one thing I do love about this house is that they're a clean beauty brand, so you don't have to worry about all all those harsh chemicals and things being put onto your skin especially with this new h2o collection i talked about this collection in depth so i'll leave that video linked in the eye in the sky but these two together are absolutely gorgeous i really really enjoy wearing them together sparkling sugar makes this combo gourmand but it's more of like a fruity gourmand more of a flirty fun gourmand so it reminds me of galentine's day or even with your boo if it's a little hot outside you can wear this for like brunch or lunch or something like that it gives those vibes but the must noir kind of grounds it a little bit more with that amber and vanilla a little bit of that violet in there is really nice the patchouli and the sandalwood also gives this a little bit of a sex appeal but this fragrance this one right here is what carries the combo with the gourmand touch sparkling sugar has cassis berries it also has this jasmine petal note you get some pink sugar in there this peach nectar note it's absolutely beautiful i love the white musk and the dry down and the tonka bean so it adds that sweetness that slight powdery touch but these two together are incredible on their own i love them but together it's a very very fun and flirty combo and i think that must noir kind of cuts down on the sweetness a little bit so it's more tolerable if sparkling sugar is too sweet for you but yeah love these individually but together they are stunning this is my scent of the day so i want to go ahead and thank clean reserve for partnering with me on this portion of the video okay thank you <laughs> now this next fragrance is absolutely gorgeous in my opinion 10 out of 10 across the board everything about it is perfection to me and this is the fragrance that i wore on my wedding day this is the number one fragrance in my collection and i don't think anything can really top it to be completely honest because i love it so much i have so many memories associated with it and i have a backup bottle it's that serious. Delina Exclusive. <laughs> if you know me, you probably already knew what this fragrance was. This is literally perfection in a bottle. This is sweet, it's warm, it's slightly creamy, it's powdery at the same time. It has a gorgeous rose note, so it's floral. It is so sexy and just deep and mysterious but it also has this beauty to it. Like the rose that's in here is absolutely gorgeous. The lychee, the pear with that grapefruit on the top is unmatched. As the fragrance dries down, that's where you get that rose. You get some incense in this fragrance as well. I just love, 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 love this fragrance. That vanilla and that musk in the base is just incredible like it's out of this world everything about this fragrance is perfect to me this is the one fragrance that i cannot live without if my house was going up in flames i would grab this in my backup i would leave everything else i'm sorry like that is just the god honest truth i absolutely love this scent this fragrance is just perfect it performs beautifully on the skin it makes me feel so sexy it makes me feel so beautiful at the same time the scent trail is incredible everything about it is just 
out of this world out of this world i'm telling you this is a 10 out of 10 if you have not gotten your nose on it please do because this one is my favorite from the entire house like i own almost every single feminine collection fragrance and this one still is just the queen she's the queen She's the queen of my collection. She's the queen of Parfums de Marley, in my opinion. And um, yeah, I can't live without her. This is very sexy to me. And I think that if you are if you own her, you're contemplating on what to wear for Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day, see, see about giving her a whiff. Oh my gosh, she's perfect. She's perfect. Ooh, let's go to the next one. Well, I guess, I guess Delina Exclusive isn't really gourmand, huh? But she's super sexy and she has like a vanilla touch. So she has like gourmand-ish ways. <laughs> I don't know. I just had to put her on the list. So whatever. <laughs> now next, this is for like my soft life, like my skin but better gourmand version. And this fragrance is fairly new to my collection. I really have been enjoying it though. Like I love smelling it. And I want to wear it a little bit more. But I wanted to do like... I don't know your skin but better type of fragrances and I'm trying to curate that right now and this is Le de Biscuit this is from the house of Shabbat this scent right here is so airy and light but it's sweet it has this like pastry-esque vibe to it kind of creamy as well you get a lot of that vanilla and you also get this like I don't know warm toasty almondy type of vibe I really 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 enjoy this fragrance and I also kind of get this like pastry bready type of scent but it's like your skin but better love 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 i love how like delicate this fragrance is but it also just smells very delicious at the same time and this is very very affordable for this like luxe packaging this is 135 and this is a 100 mil i believe their 50 mils go for about 40 us dollars but yeah this is an eau de toilette concentration i think this is absolutely beautiful especially if you like those like softer scents this is perfect and also it has that gourmand touch so this is very much so cozy very much so netflixing and chilling you know with your boo if you have like a gal Valentine's Day like sleepover this would be great to wear or even just you know chilling with your boo if y'all aren't going out y'all are staying in and you want to wear pajamas this is great like cozy pajamas really really cute really 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 enjoy this fragrance it's absolutely beautiful and I don't really hear people talk about that one too much so check that one out if you have not already I also think I have a code with them so check the description box for all of the coupon codes and stuff like that you probably can save you some coin okay next we have a combo and I talked about this in a previous video but I don't think I went into too much detail about it this one is my gourmand lovers dream if you love chocolate this will be great for you this is invite only from kaoli along with velvet chocolate from theodoro's calatini's these two together are incredible of course velvet chocolate literally just smells like chocolate brownies to me like brownie batter but layer with kaoli's invite only it's crazy invite only is more of like your ambery honey chocolatey tobacco fragrance that's the best way i can describe it very very sexy pretty unique for the line i think this one is super super underrated but these two together are stunning absolutely stunning i really really enjoy wearing these i was contemplating on what i wanted to wear as my scent of the day i chose the clean reserve one because it's a little bit more like uplifting and this one is a little bit more nighttime appropriate for me so i might wear this as a combo tonight but this is absolutely beautiful i love the black cherry that's in invite only i love the tobacco i love the honey i love the amber it's so 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 pretty and layered with this velvet chocolate it just really brings out that chocolatey nuance that's in invite only and i just think it's perfect they're perfect together this performs beautifully on the skin i really 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 get a great wearing experience when i wear this combo so yeah love these i think you should check them out if you have not already and velvet chocolate it goes for 55 dollars. i got this off of greta site and i think she gave me like a 10 or 15 percent off coupon so if you check the description box you'll see all the the information so this one you can get some money off on and invite only of course you can get at your sephora's and stuff like that so i love this combo now y'all might hear my son in the background he's just having a good time he's downstairs with his mom so if you hear him just say hey okay <laughs> But we're gonna keep this going the next fragrance is a brand spanking new i've been trying this for the last week i have not worn any other fragrance but this one and this is amore cafe from mancera i'm gonna do a dedicated review on this one but i had to add it to this video because this is a gourmand lover's dream it's so sexy it's deep it's boozy it's sweet it's creamy 
I absolutely love this fragrance. Sorry, spoiler alert, it's a love. If you've ever had like an Amaretto Sour, Think of an amaretto sour, take out the sour, add coffee to it. It's like this sweet, boozy, syrupy liqueur that has this creamy, vanillic undertone to it, and it has this coffee nuance as well. It is so, so pretty. It smells like the color of the juice. I'm just, I'm here for it. Mancera has has really really impressed me over the last year and I've fallen in love with the house so I'm so so happy to have this in my collection shout out to Twisted Lily for sending this my way I do have a coupon code with them as well I'm so 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 excited to get this review out for you guys because I have thoughts like performance all that good stuff I have all the details all the tea but I needed to include this on this list because it's so delicious and yummy it's boozy it's exactly what you want for like a sexy Valentine's Day night out it's absolutely beautiful so Amore Cafe from Mancera be on the lookout for this review now this next combo is oh it's fire it is fire and I'm telling you one of these fragrances is a gourmand like it is straight up no if ands or buts about it gourmand and these are extremely affordable these are from sniff and i have tarte deco and crumble couture now crumble couture oh this is literally like a fruity sweet croissant it's like buttery it's absolutely gorgeous it is gorgeous it is so mouth-watering it smells like a croissant with like the most fresh juicy delicious sweet like perfectly ripened blueberry jam that's what it smells like it smells i can smell the blueberry jam like to me that's like what i get it's so crazy it smells so delicious like it's toasty it's just oh it's so so beautiful it has like a wild berry jam accord this also has some black currant along with this croissant accord it has vanilla tonka beans it's beautiful it has this toasty nature to it which i really really like it adds this like realistic warmth but then we have tart deco right here and tart deco is for the cherry lovers it smells so familiar to me i don't know how they do it it just smells like something I've smelled before but like I cannot put my finger on it it is such a realistic smelling cherry fragrance that it makes my mouth literally water of course this has black cherry this has some vanilla some mimosa you also get some raspberry in this fragrance so it's very juicy and fruity but these two together smell so freaking good let me spray these on a card because this combo is so good and it's so underrated like i don't know why people aren't talking about this house more i know like on instagram this house is popular but for 65 bucks you get oh this smells good for 65 bucks you get great smelling fragrances and they perform very very well check them out if you haven't please now next we have a classic in my opinion this scent is a gourmand but it's more sexy and people hate on her all the time i don't care i'm i'm a stan i'm a fan black opium Le parfum from ysl i love this fragrance i'm not gonna go into too much detail about it because everybody and their mom talked about this one but this one so far is my favorite i do love black opium i love just the dna of black opium i have the original i have the nuit blanche that the Nuit Blanche actually was my favorite for a while until this one came out. I haven't tried the cherry one because I'm on a no-buy until March. But I do want to get my nose on it and see what it's talking about. But Black Opium, you can never go wrong. It's super sexy. My wife likes it on me. So for me personally, it's a win. Also, she likes Bone Bone from Victor and Roth. So I guess that's like an honorable mention. But it's a really sexy, sweet scent. But Black Opium, of course, is your sweet coffee fragrance. It's vanillic. It's really, really nice. I would say they amped up the vanilla in Le Parfum. And this performs a little bit better in my opinion opinion but the og performs pretty well on me too so i'm just kind of like uh, that's cool like you know make it perform better that's cool so yeah this is a black opium lay parfum like i said i'm not gonna go into too much detail about it because i love her i talk about her a lot so yeah black opium lay parfum now <laughs> this fragrance is probably i don't know one of my favorite discoveries from 2023 my fa definitely one of my favorite house discoveries <sighs> day three day three fragrances i am just head over heels in love and this fragrance philosophia gourmand lovers stand up okay this is a gourmand that's a sophisticated gourmand this is not your i smell exactly like a treat it's like i smell treat ish but 
I smell like a fragrance as well. This is so beautiful. And this is gender neutral in my opinion. Some might say it leans a little more masculine. I don't agree. This isn't ultra feminine, but it's not ultra masculine. That's why I say it's gender fluid. If a sweet, leathery, chocolatey, musky, warm and spicy fragrance sounds interesting to you, you would love this fragrance. You would absolutely love it. This fragrance opens up with a blast of spice. So you get that cardamom with that black pepper. You also get a little bit of bergamot, but for me, the bergamot is really, really short lived. I get mostly the cardamom in the opening. And then as the fragrance dries down, you get this beautiful tobacco note along with some cashmere. Mmm. And you get some cipriol, which I think really complements that tobacco note. And you also get some hazelnuts. So you get this slightly nutty quality. But the dry down is my favorite with that chocolate and that vanilla and that musk. You also get a little bit of that leathery touch as well. It's not overwhelming though. So if you don't like leather, I think you would still enjoy this fragrance. It's not overbearing at all. I really get that chocolate that's in that deep dry down. And to me, it's more of like a dark chocolate. This is very, very sexy and sensual. Oh my God, it's beautiful. And it pairs so well with that tobacco. The tobacco, the leather, the chocolate, the vanilla, the musk all together. It's just, oh my God, it's incredible and this is an extracted parfum so you can you know really get a good bang for your buck day three just came out with their 10 mils okay so you can buy your travels and you can pick which ones you want their discovery set is incredible you get the entire set for 35 dollars and then that 35 dollars goes towards your purchase of a full-size bottle and i think these bottles go for 135 the 50 mils go for about 135 or if you want the 100 mil you can do that as well but i think the 50 mil is a great size and it's travel friendly of course day three y'all y'all have my heart y'all have my heart so that's all i have for you guys today i really hope you enjoyed today's video what are some fragrances you're contemplating wearing for valentine's day or on valentine's day i would absolutely love to know if you are new to my channel i do quiz you guys at the end of all of my videos just to see who's been rocking with me into the end or whatnot and for today's video go ahead and leave me the red heart emoji so i know you guys made it until the end i love you guys so so much and i will see you all in the next one <laughs>